Okay, so we've been letting this cook for about five minutes or so. I want to show you where we uh, bumped it up just a little bit because it is not, it's not steaming, okay? It's, there's a little bit of a drag on the lid. Optimum temperature is uh, when you can spin that, it just spins, okay? Spins uh, easily. So that's optimum temperature, not spitting and sputtering, not locked down, but where there's a little bit of a bubble and, it, and, and you can spin the lid, okay? So let me talk to you a little bit about Towncraft. Towncraft is who I represent. I've been with them now uh, over 26 years. Folks, the best cookware in the world, okay? And I've seen it all. I've seen tons and tons of, maybe not all, but I've seen tons and tons of other cookware. Nothing compares. Towncraft didn't cut any corners. Everything we have is the best there is. I'm so uh, proud to work for a company like that. And our owner, uh, Mr. Ralph Ramirez, uh, is making sure we stay state of the art and doing the right things to stay ahead of the pack, okay? So Towncraft, T-O-W-N-E, C-R-A-F-T, towncraft.com, pretty simple. Hey, I live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Okay, and we've got people everywhere, but I live in Murfreesboro with my beautiful wife, Debbie, who is our, our, uh, our editor and uh, filmmaker today. And um, uh, so in Murfreesboro, I represent Middle Tennessee, but I go most anywhere. Um, but here, uh, I am part of the group or the division that's based in Knoxville. So we're with the Knoxville Better Business Bureau. Uh, Mr. John Howard has been in Knoxville, I think, 40 years or more, okay? So knoxville.bbb.org if you want to check out our reputation there, uh, just the Better Business Bureau uh, .com in general. But with our division, we've had one, one, now think about that, one um, complaint with the Better Business Bureau since 1978. Then we go into people's homes we don't know and cook for them, use their cookware or use their kitchens and all that. So, I mean, you can tell that we are we are who we say we are, and we do what we say we're going to do. So knoxville.bbb.org if you want to check that out. And then my website, pretty simple, mikethepanman.com. Okay, not Mike the Pot Man, that'll get you in trouble. Mikethepanman.com. And this video that we're filming today is one of many uh, that will be going up. We've already got about 12 up on there now. We'll be putting more up. Hey, we're cooking this. Uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be great. We're gonna show you the end of it here in just a little bit. And so we'll see in a few minutes. Okay, so look over here. Uh, we talked about. See how. The, see how easy that spins. That's where you want to be. That's the optimum temperature. Now here's what we said: medium to low. But guess what? With all this food in there, that's as far as we can go to for it to be low. Uh, for this meatloaf, but it doesn't matter. You're still cooking. You're not using the oven. You're not using all those BTUs and all that sort of stuff, okay? Another thing I wanted to talk about is Towncraft, how we um, move our product, right? Some people say, well, I never heard of you. Some people say, hey, my mom's had it forever. So you never can tell what people's reaction is going to be. But one reason people, a lot of people don't know about us is uh, we don't advertise, okay? What we actually do, our advertising is we give pieces of our cookware away. Like that food processor we showed you a few, a few minutes ago. If you host a dinner for us and have a few couples over, we come, we bring all the food, and we'll give you that just for hosting the presentation, okay? So uh, we'll show you more of those. Actually, I have a video up on my website now that says, Why Host a Dinner? Just click on that. It's going to show you a lot of the gifts that we give away, and we've got even more since then. We want to host a dinner for you. I mean, we want you to host a dinner. We'll let you let us come cook. We bring all the food. We clean up all of our mess. Not all the mess, just all of our mess. And uh, so we want to come. Uh, we want to come cook for you. We have a lovely time, fun, entertaining, and we don't go by sales. We go by attendance. Okay. At least my division. I know that's how we work. Okay. So uh, call us or go on my website, mikethepanman.com. www, of course, mikethepanman.com. Mike, the pan man, pretty simple, and uh, and uh, and then um, and then uh, send me an email, and uh, we'll get you cooked for. Okay, now well, I'm saying we've got people everywhere. All right, so we'll send somebody to your house. Uh, of course, we have a lot of uh, 
Uh, some of our guys have no availability. Some of them stay that busy, uh, but we'll come cook for you. We'd love to meet you. We'd love to show you our product, and uh, we'll come back and show you the end of this in a little bit. Okay, so now we want to add to our meal. We got uh, meatloaf and potatoes going. We want to add some uh, corn on the cob. Sound good? So just take your pan, and of course, all of our pans, or most of our pans, are made the same, right? The five different plies of metal, uh, stainless steel inside and out, and... Um, so most of them are just a capacity issue, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these paper towels in here. Now folks, this works with eggs, uh, as is typically what we would call boiled eggs. It works with- um, Baked potatoes? Baked potatoes, it's great with baked potatoes. And now this time we're gonna add, we're just gonna put some corn on the cob in here, all right? Now we're gonna get that wet, okay? When I say get it wet, I'm talking about get it good and soaking wet. Okay, now you don't want, you see that extra water in there, you don't want all that, but you do want everything good and wet. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, and what should I do? Well, we know the rhyme is medium to low is all you need to know. So we're going to put that on over here, the, right, right in the middle. That's low, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, next we're gonna do cornbread. Man, you guys are in for a treat. I don't do this for everybody, but we're gonna show you my personal private cornbread recipe, okay? I know you got yours. I'm not seeing anything wrong with yours. Mine's so simple. Martha White buttermilk cornmeal mix, one egg and two thirds cup of skim milk. Really, really simple, okay? Uh, I like White Lily, uh, any, of that, any of those cornbread mixes you wanna use. Really simple. Uh, I'm going to take our omelet pan, okay, and spray a quick little sheen on there. I'm going to turn that on medium. Now, on most stoves, medium is too hot for cornbread, and it's too hot for eggs. But I know my stove, and I know my stove uh, will handle medium, okay, on those. Uh, Debbie reminded me, I talked a little bit about capacity earlier. I'll show you what I mean by that. The, uh, the pans are made five plies of metal, stainless inside and out. You, you, we've got on our earlier videos if you want to check that out. They are a little bit different. The omelet pan's different. It's not quite as. Um, hey, guess what? We're steaming hard over here, right? We talked about that earlier. You see where it is? We're going to go ahead and bump that down a little bit, okay? Because we don't want to steam hard. We just want a little bit of a steam, all right? So we want a loose lid. We turn it down a little bit. But when I say capacity issue, what I'm talking about is you want to keep a pan pretty much three-fourths full or more. Okay, three-fourths full or more. That's my Mississippi coming out in me, having a hard time saying it. Uh, in other words, don't put a little bit of food in a big pan and then turn it on medium because by the time it steams, you've lost most of your moisture. Okay, that's the only thing I mean by capacity issue. All right, so we're steaming here. We're starting to steam here. We'll turn that one down. We've got a little bit of Pam in here. We've got that on medium, and uh, we've got our cornbread mix, and we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, we preheated on up here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See how that Pam has separated? Uh, and so I'm just gonna put the mixture in. Pretty simple, okay? Now, while we're doing that, we're gonna let this cornbread cook, and I'll move the corn on the cob around because I wanna show you something here. All right, that's real simple. And I would just let that cook. And uh, back over here, I wanted to talk to you about uh, stack cooking. Now we've got a video specifically for stack cooking, but I wanted to kind of show you what I mean by that here uh, if you haven't seen the other. Typically in the meatloaf and potatoes, we would put our utility rack in and then put our double boiler in with our dome lid, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna do all that today, but just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, once you put the rack in and the, uh, sorry about the noise, the double boiler in, it can have corn and peas in it, it can have German chocolate cake in it or anything like that, but once it has, and this one is steamed and that one has steamed, you actually can stack those up on top of each other like that, okay? Hey, right now we got meatloaf and potatoes, we could have corn and peas and uh, corn on a cob or anything you want on top, okay? So, uh, some people think that is, uh, iffy or, or um, scary, but it's not. It's very simple there. And if you have kids, you want to put it back to the back. Now, the good news is, even if it did get knocked over, what's inside? Hot food, 
no but no boiling water, no grease or anything like that to even hurt your floor, much less your kids. Okay, so stack it up, cook it like that. Uh, we'll come back, finish it up here in just a minute. The cornbread. See, it has gotten pretty um, solid around the edges. The main thing is to look down in there. Let me get a spatula, baby. You see that? It's kind of getting um, brown around the edges. Can you see that? Ooh. Ooh, yep. Okay, so you can either do it with a spatula or flip it over. All right. <laughs> Now that cooked in about seven minutes. Okay, and we're just going to top turn of the stove on top of the stove in seven minutes, so you didn't have to preheat or use the oven at all. Uh, we're going to turn. We flipped it over. We turned it off, and just the residual heat will um, cook it. We'll cook it. Residual heat will cook it. Okay. Uh, Debbie uh, asked me how long this would stay hot. Okay. So you know, uh, so many people have ball games. Um, the daughters are doing gymnastics, the guys are, kids are doing gymnastics, all that sort of stuff. Now, you know, you can come home from work, put this on, get it cooked, and then turn it off, and it will stay hot up to two or two and a half hours later, depending on what, what you've got in it, okay? So, like, if you come home, you get ready for go to a ball game, put the food on, cook it, turn it off, or even turn it to low, because it'll, it'll stay a long time without overcooking, uh, depending on what you're cooking, of course, but... And then, then go do your ball game. Then come back and eat. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, once the, we're gonna give this about three minutes on this side, uh, just to brown up on the other side, and then we're gonna plate it. All right. All right. Time to wrap it up. Here's our cornbread. It's done. Here's our corn on the cob. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, it's gonna be so good. Uh, let's go back over here. I want to show you the meatloaf and potatoes. All right. So I'm actually gonna kind of move those potatoes over and take the meatloaf out first. All right. Uh, you talk about beautiful. Man, this is gonna be beautiful. All right. And uh, move the potatoes off that half. Go up here. Now we got our meatloaf. You talk about great. You talk about easy. You talk about uh, delicious. Look at that. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Okay. All right. Uh, let me get the let me get the potatoes out. Tell them about our bowls and stuff, baby. Love, love our bowls. These are courier <laughs> knives, uh, bowls and plates. My mom bought these when we first got married 41 years ago. And we have went to antique stores and other places to add to our collection. Brittany has helped me do that, which is our wonderful daughter. So we love the Courier Knives dishes. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look great? Uh, and here's our cornbread. Now, um, people ask, uh, may want to know why my shirt says, not Chef Mike. And I do that because I just want people to know, look, if you've got good tools, you, don't, you can back up a little bit this way, babe. I'm going to cut the cornbread. Uh, if you've got good tools, you don't have to be a good, you don't have to be a chef. You, cooking is easy with Towncraft cookware, okay? Man, you guys got to have Towncraft and you see a free demonstration. Contact me at MikeThePanMan.com, okay? We want to come cook for you. Mike at MikeThePanMan.com is the email or MikeThePanMan at AOL.com. Yes, I'm old school. Okay, that's because I'm old. But folks, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed talking to you. You don't have to be a chef if you have town crab cookware. And you can check it all out at MikeThePanMan.com. God bless you. Have a great day. Uh, let God work in your life. He loves you. He really, really does.